All right, folks, for this video, we're going to be showing off some gameplay footage of Tales of Arise, the newest entry in Bandai Namco's long-running Tales series for the Xbox Series X and S. This is being played off the Xbox Series S, though. Game is also available on the PS4, PS5, and PC via Steam. And if you're interested in my review of the game, I'll have a link down in the description down below, or you can click on the card that will appear up on this YouTube video, assuming you're watching this on YouTube. And for parents out there, it's worth pointing out Tales of Arise is rated Tees for Teens, ages 13 and up by the ESRB. So why don't we get started then? that wall open, can't you? Well, let's give it a try and find out! You sure about that? From what I hear, that thing can stop even a cannonball. On second thought, let's see if there's a release mechanism somewhere. It's on! On my... Should make for some good weapon crafting material. An opponent like this should be easy. You've got fury. Gemini, bring the mark. Can handle this. Confiscated. That's my cue. Goodbye. Shut him down. Everyone hanging in there?
a key to the noble room of the castle. A noble what? The room at the northern end of this floor. Maybe the release mechanism is in there. You know, the more I think about it, this palace is way too big for its own good. Tell me about it. Plus, where the hell were these soldiers and Zoogles all this time? Normally, the Zoogles are kept in specialized training facilities and only get let out in cases of emergency. Like this one, for instance? Give me a break. Any injuries? this thing. So what is Mahogsar exactly? One of the five realms of Dana. From the sound of it, Kelzalik had some dealings with them. like we want. Oh, 
Right behind you, Shion.
there are enemy forces here, too? They must be predicting our movements and deploying accordingly. So they figured we were coming all along, is that it? like we won. Hey, look at that enemy. It's shining. I've got... A really bad feeling about this. You got to do it! Is that some kind of note the Rebels left? Hey, it mentions the release mechanism we're looking for, but... This isn't enough to go on. Consider yourself finished! 
Nicely done. No choice. Oh, no. Now you learn. Looks like we won. I won't forgive you. You. Here I go. Is it in the sky? Get toasty. Burn strike. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Look, another note from the Rebels. If we combine it with the note we found before, then there should be a key inside a cabinet in the office. Great. Let's see if we can find it. Done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you. Dion. It'll be a. Please get in here. Look sharp. Lightning Looks like we won.
blows of the tree. Brush. I'm only getting started. Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Now! Pounce it! Mega Ray! Shattering to pieces! Attack! Here I go! I'm only getting started! Wind Astral Energy! Hard Steel! It's weakened! Not in your dreams! This is... Talon Hurricane! Any injuries? Well, well, if it isn't the slaves and the traitor. I don't remember giving you permission to enter the palace. So it's true. You really are the one behind all this, Kelzalik. I don't remember giving you permission to speak, either. Know your place, slave. Now we see his true colors. Yeah. A despicable excuse for a human being. Though really, I guess that makes him pretty ordinary, huh? Kelzalik, you were Lord Dohalim's most trusted advisor. His closest ally. Why would you betray him? Don't be a fool. I didn't serve him because I wanted to. I expect a mere slave would know, but there are many powerful contenders for the position of Lord. A contest of strength determines the one who will be Lord and undisputed ruler of a realm. There is no choice in the selection. If my master had any ambitions of becoming the Sovereign, I would have gladly served him. But he had no intention of fighting for the crown. Indeed. Can you slaves even imagine how that looked to the rest of us? Enduring the whims of an ambitionless lord, all we could do was wait for the end as we suffered through our humiliation. You want suffering? Try being Dan in for a day. So you plotted against Lord Dohalim in secret. And when my brother found out... And I would do it all again if it meant returning Menancia to its rightful state! A realm where Danans are slaves and Renans their masters. It's the natural order. It's... Enough! Who are you to decide what is natural or rightful, traitor? Migal. My brother. He dreamed of building a world free of suffering. He gave his life for that dream. And all you've managed to build is a lake of death. You. You killed my brother. And now you'll die for it! Why should I consider? 
concern myself with the passing of one pathetic slave. Have you no sense? By the power of water! Be careful! He has some kind of camouflage! You're mine! Take this! Go for the weak point! point. Not on my watch! By the Take power this. of water! This one is real! One more! You're on! Tiger blade! Uh -huh. Here I come! I'm not done! I'm gone! Mega ray! That's it! Take this! Yeah. It vanished again? Listen carefully and keep your eyes peeled. I never miss! That's it! Tiger blade! Here's a healing arm! Try harder! First aid! Here I come! Not today! Tiger blade! You're finished! Water! Hear my prayer! Meteor! Spread! Here 
These slaves are despicable. Your dreams of attaining lordship are no more. Give up, Kelzalik. Attaining lordship? <laughs> Ridiculous. Only those who possess a master core can become a lord. <laughs> what did you think just anyone could do it? But then, what were you trying to accomplish with this? Didn't you betray your lord? Yes, that's true. However, there are other lords. Other lords? So you mean... At last, the truth is revealed. Doholi, where have you been this whole time? Cleaning up. Kelzalik, you've made your last of these. The fruit of Helgen? You found my production facility? Correct. And I tore it down. But something still troubles me. It's clear that this is no ordinary fruit. Nor was the equipment used to grow it. You couldn't have done all this without outside assistance. Indeed. Something like this must have come from another realm. Sar, perhaps? <sighs> you actually expect me to talk now? At this point, the contest for the crown will be over soon enough. And you will finally receive the punishment you deserve for your weakness. I've already received my punishment. <laughs> May this be my final act, as the Lord of Elder Men and Sia. <laughs> Go. To Mahog Sar, Ganeth Horrors, wherever you think you'll find a suitable lord. <laughs> Oh. 
Are you all right with this? He killed your brother after all. He did. But then I thought, he's nothing more than one common, ordinary Renan. He's not worthy of my time or my anger, right? <sighs> so after everything, was the dream of coexisting just a dream? What is that? Those are the cheers of the brave Danans who overpowered Kelzalik's forces. Wait, they challenged the Renans? Indeed. A militia made up of Danan guardsmen, Renan supporters, and of course, the Gold Dust Cats. Do we have you to thank for bringing them all together? Regardless of what your original motivations were, your dream of coexistence saved countless lives. And now, those people out there are fighting to keep that dream alive. That's something real. Be that as it may, they do so now by their own hands. These people no longer need any lord. Where are you going? To put an end to the crown contest. So long as its madness persists, peace will remain ever out of reach. I cannot allow it to continue. The Crown Contest impacts far more than just the Danans. You're choosing to fight Lenegas and the entire Empire. I am well aware. However, if I wish to keep this dream from dying, then I have little choice in the matter. Besides, it's the least I can do. So, you're gonna go out there and make that dream real on your own? You may be decided on your path, but that doesn't make it any less difficult. Why not walk that road with us? Pardon? You heard me. We're fighting to liberate the Danans. You're fighting for the people of this realm. I'd say we're on the same path, really. It would only make sense for us to walk it together. Danon dissidents, side by side with a Renan lord? Not the least intriguing invitation I've received. An invitation which would only be proper courtesy for me to accept. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Hey, where'd Kisara go? I don't see her anywhere. Maybe she just needed some time alone. A lot's happened. That makes sense. She did just lose her brother after all. <sighs> we ought to keep moving as well. So long as there are lords who draw breath, we have a mission to complete. Kisara's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. We should hurry on ahead to our next destination. I guess you're right. And it is a lot safer here than it was. What do you think, Dohalim? I am not sure I have the right to say anything as far as Kisara is concerned. Fair enough. Well, I, for one, would like to say goodbye if we get a chance. Let's keep an eye out for her as we leave. Kisara going to do now? I'm sure it's complicated for her. Where did Kisara run off to? You don't think she took off after Kelzalik, do you? No. Nagal entrusted her with his dream. She wouldn't do something reckless like that. Right now, I think she just needs time to think. What she does from here on out is up to her. She has to be the one to decide.
Should we really take this? You all arrived here from Cislodia, yes? In that case, you should depart via the south gate, rather than the one you arrived through. You guys checked your equipment lately? After all that, Kisara never came back to see us. I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing. Where would she even go? I hope this place survives.
You think the Danons and Renans have a chance of getting along? We didn't really do much to change things around here, did we? This realm had its own walls to overcome. And in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down, without any help from us. I hope they keep going. I really do. Yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Huh? All right. I leave command of the Gold Dust Cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. <coughs> Looks like it's time to go. Take good care of Zare for me. All right, Lagil? You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. Did you come to say goodbye? Actually, I was wondering if you could use another companion. Huh? Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Ever since Miguel died, I've been thinking a lot. About where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but we were naive and short-sighted. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia, and so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant, and because of that, because of me, my brother... Magal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right, but in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free, or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elder and Sia from outside the dream world, for the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. In all honesty, I'm grateful to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan Lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All I ask is that you do your part, that you fight alongside me, not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do, Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a Lord anyway. Well? This crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? We make for Mahag Sar, the Valley of the Four Winds.
I'm amazed how easily you can move such a giant shield around like it's nothing. Really? It's not actually as heavy as it looks. It's really reassuring to have someone like you protecting us, though. You know, I guess I never realized it before. But looking back, I've always been the sort to put myself in harm's way to protect those around me, even before I joined the Elderman and Sia Guard. So, in a way, using this shield to keep you all safe feels like it's what I was meant to do. You don't need to worry about protecting me. I don't plan on relying on you. That's okay. It doesn't matter if you do or not. I don't protect people because they ask me to. I do it because I want to, and because I think it's the right thing to do. That goes for you too, Dohalim. Me? Yes. You see, you and I both want the same thing. We have the same goal. That means it's in my best interest to continue to protect and keep you safe as well. Even now. <sighs> I'm not sure how much protecting I'll need either, but I appreciate the thought. I'm sure you'll do us proud, Kisara. Right. You can all count on me. What was Kalzalek even after in the end? Isn't it obvious? Clearly he wanted the throne for himself, and was gonna have his goons execute Dohalim to get it. He had to have known he couldn't hope to defeat a lord. He should have run while he had the chance, instead of holing himself up in the palace. Maybe he thought he couldn't run? Either way, the outcome's the same. So he got desperate and decided to go for broke? One might argue that he was another victim of mine, in a sense. Huh? There is no greater calling in life to a Renan than the crown contest, yet I refused to take part. The shock he felt at that must have been truly immense. Enough to drive him to revolt, even though doing so meant defying Renan hierarchy. I know I've said this before, but Danans and Renans wouldn't coexist here if it wasn't for your stance. But that was no lofty idealism on my part, nor do I feel any pride at what occurred. Spare us the pity party. You literally just joined us to uphold those ideals. Shion! No, she is absolutely correct. I shall speak no more of my misgivings. <laughs> Something. Mahogsar. That makes four out of the five realms that I've visited now. I wonder what kind of lord we're gonna find there. It doesn't matter. If they try to get in our way, we'll take them down and battle with that. <sighs> One keeps charging us! That's what my shield's for. Get behind me! Got it! I'll leave it to you! If it's in the sky, it's You're mine! Fix it! Flame of fury! Take it! No more Miss Nice Girl! Strike! Just with the doctor or Not today! Take it! Do it now! I'm in the groove! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Wow! Look what I just found. Hi, Hoodle! Glacial Spear, Pierce the Eagle! I'll you. I never miss! Dragon Swarm! If they rush you, you gotta jump for cover, okay? Ah, elusive deity! Moon of I'll face you! Ah, I'll face you! I'll face you! Hope this works! Finish it! Not on my watch! Sword Rain Alpha! In a bind? Blow away! Begin! Take this! 
I'll thank you. Try this. Luna, 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 Luna. That extra training paid off. Small fry. There's something in the water. I didn't realize there was a pond here. Yeah, this is Taka Pond. And it happened to have saved my life once upon a time. What do you mean? As a kid, I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to. It's terrible to swim in but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Ren and Eyes. Bear in mind, our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food to survive. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. Here, let me show you how it's done. Where should I cast my line? <sighs> Not my lucky day, I guess.
All right. go this time. Anybody could reel in that. Hmm. Not too shabby, friend. something. Anybody could reel in that. Guess it's important to stay calm. And that's all there is to it. Wow. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Kisara? I think I've seen enough. Oh, sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. That's how fishing goes. You wait for a bite, and then the real battle begins. Magal told me that different fish live in different regions, and you have to pick the right rod and lure for what you're hoping to catch. But that doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. When you put it like that, maybe it's worth me trying my hand at fishing after all. You're just in it for the food. I was hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicente. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. Okay!
I'm always amazed what healing arts can do. Just doing my job. No need to thank me. We should be able to cook here. Just me, or have those two barely spoken a single word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Megal, is it really any wonder? Kind of puts a damper on the whole journey, though, huh? How long do you think they're gonna keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask them? Why do I have to ask? How come you walk together like that? Uh... She really doesn't beat around the bush. You mean Kisara and myself? You hadn't noticed? You've been practically joined at the hip ever since we left Vicent. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? Having guards doesn't necessarily mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so, it's not like they're entirely wrong, Kisara. You're no longer in my employ, after all. I don't know. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't serve him anymore. It isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You know, she's probably right. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I guess it wouldn't hurt to rethink our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought, after all. Does that sound all right by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for every little thing while you're at it. <sighs> Sorry. It's not that easy, shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it. I've noticed that sometimes we come across enemies who fight like you and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys. I can get some hits in when they move in to attack, but otherwise they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. Try to outclass them on reflexes? I possess the ability to command Earth Elemental Beings to some extent. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Huh? Uh, what he means is that he can make plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. I'm glad at least one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Doholim handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help.
I'm imp impressed how well balanced this thing is. You can never be too prepared, but did we have to spend so much? Why are you looking at me like that? That armor you wear is standard issue for the Menensian Guard, right? Originally, I've added some flair to it in a lot of places. I noticed, especially with that open back. We guardsmen pride ourselves on never showing our back to our enemies. It's my way of making myself live up to that. Plus, it makes it that much lighter and easier to maintain. Hmm. Dohalim, do you have anything to say about this? Every guardsman is allowed to wear their armor as they see fit. And you, La? Huh? Why are you asking me? That actually came out pretty all right, don't you think? Don't leave. Care if I hang out for a while? <sighs> you worried about what's going on with Menencia? What makes you think that? Well, you were speaking to Kisara earlier, weren't you? It's rude to listen in on others, you know. Sorry. I didn't hear what you two were actually talking about, though. I just figured it was Men and Sia since it was the two of you. I am but a former lord who has abandoned his post. I'm no longer in a position to lead the realm in any capacity whatsoever. Yet Kisara still seeks out my opinions, knowing full well that is the case. This despite the fact I am no longer her master, either. Couldn't it be precisely because you're not her master anymore? It's natural for friends to want to hear each other's opinions. <laughs> I hadn't considered that possibility. It's funny what you miss sometimes. Hardly uncommon among artistic types such as myself. When lordships are decided based solely on one's astral energy, it can lead to funny results. But even so, you still took your job as lord seriously, didn't you? Certainly. I learned to perform my functions. However, I was less interested in ruling, so much as avoiding life and death decisions. Of course, such a mentality in the end led only to sickening pain and death taking place elsewhere out of sight. I pretended not to see or hear any of it, content to let our supposed peace and equality keep me blind and deaf to reality. I was a fool. But you're making amends. I would like to think so. The path ahead is dark, yet I still walk on. I merely pray that I shan't fall down any holes along the way. I do believe it's about time that I retire. Shall we get moving?
Alright folks, this concludes some gameplay footage of Tales of Arise for the Xbox Series X and S being played on Series S. Tell me what you guys think. Did you like what you see? Did you not like what you see? Are you glad Bandai Namco is continuing with the Tale series? Do you think they should continue to do more with continue with another entry in the series? And if so, should it be a sequel to Tales of Arise or a completely new cast of characters and all like we've seen with past Tales games? As always, sound off in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. I would appreciate it. And I hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do, make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications of any new videos I put up. Also, feel free to share this video if you want to. And feel free to donate to my channel if you like. You could do it through PayPal me or Patreon. Links will be in the description of this video. Assuming you're watching this on YouTube. And I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully that will be soon. Until then, from Southern California, wish you all a good day then. Bye!